We all know that there are four races in Bloxford. We got human, Skypian, Mink, and of course, Fishman. But guys, did you know that there is actually two secret races in Bloxford that you can't just get from the race reroll? Well, guys, I only figured that out just a minute ago when I saw a guy running around with like horns on his head. I was like, what is this guy? <laughs> and he was like, dude, I am a ghoul. A ghoul. I am a big fan of ghouls. So yeah, guys, today we're going to be unlocking the ghoul race in blocks fruits now guys currently i'm in the third seat and actually i need to go all the way back to the second seat i can't really do it over here <laughs> uh so yeah I, i'm gonna have to find my way back home i don't know i don't know where to go so yeah guys i'm actually getting rid of the buddha fruit because i've been using the buddha fruit way too much recently so i'm actually gonna be messing around a little bit with the sand fruit but yeah let's head back to the second seat wow ladies and gentlemen welcome to the second seat it's actually been a minute since i've been here but yeah guys we're actually gonna have to head over to the ghost ship yeah i think it's called the ghost ship all right baby we made it to the ghost ship so let's head inside and yeah guys what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to fight the cursed captain now i don't think he has spawned yeah he's not here so we're gonna have to wait for him so yeah guys one of the things that we're actually gonna need is gonna be some ectoplasm. and we need at least a hundred but more is always good so yeah we're gonna actually have to kill a couple of these guys to get ourselves some more acto pronounce ectoplasm all right so we currently have 16 we need at least a hundred so yeah guys what we're pretty much just waiting on is anytime it says a shiver runs down your spine in the top bar that's when we actually have to go upstairs and kill the cursed captain because he's the man that will drop exactly what it is we need oh a shiver runs down your spine it just freaking said it okay uh i'm quickly gonna change my fruit because actually i've not been a fan of the sand fruit for some reason my desert blade uh like ability actually always goes like into the ceiling and it doesn't actually work so uh yeah i'm gonna have to uh quickly swap this out and then just reach the character and we'll get magma magma is actually one of my favorites okay all right let's take on the bloody cursed captain there he is so yeah guys we're gonna have to kill this guy and he has a very small chance of dropping exactly what it is that we actually need so yeah it's not even a guaranteed thing it's pretty rare <laughs> oh my god and he is freaking strong it always surprises me how strong this guy is like he's one of the stronger enemies in the second scene if not the strongest actually besides like the uh what you, what's his face the, the dark guy <laughs> uh dark beard black beard black beard all right so yeah this guy right here is actually helping me kill him which is kind of nice all right so he's actually starting to take a good amount of damage now, guys, there is a small chance we get very lucky here and actually get exactly what it is we need. But I have a feeling we're going to have to uh, uh, try this multiple times. <laughs> I mean, if we don't have to, I'd be very happy with it, of course. But, you know. All right. He's almost freaking dead, dude. Come on. Okay, come on. He's almost dead. Let me get the final hit. Great mob, lava hound. Bang. And we did not get what we needed. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, there's like a 15% chance of getting what you need. So we are now just going to have to keep on waiting. <laughs> or server hopping. We could actually server hop. I don't know. Okay, we only have 37 uh, ectoplasm. So we're actually gonna just keep grinding ectoplasm instead of just uh, server hopping. Yeah, we gotta get ourselves at least 100. Oh, and there he is again. And let's start killing him already. Dude, this guy's actually so freaking tough though. Like seriously, one of the toughest bosses that I've fought. <laughs> he has so much HP. All right, so yeah, he's now on the other side of this wall so I can just keep pummeling him. <laughs> Whatever, if you, if, you, if you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Come on, dude. This is like, <laughs> this is just such a slow fight. It's crazy. How long has this been fighting this freaking guy dude it's been like an hour well guys at least because he is actually a pretty tough boss i gotta say generally speaking it's not too hard to find him people don't really want to kill this guy <laughs> he's a bit of a drag <laughs> come on so close come on die already i'm so close to death well that must be it right okay yeah there it is and we still did not get a reward <laughs> Great! Didn't get the bloody reward we were looking for. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do a, another server hop and find ourselves another boss. Okay, and he's there. Yes. <laughs> like I said, guys, nobody wants to kill this guy. He's a pain in the butt. <laughs> also, I know I said I was gonna fight this guy fair and square, but dude, it is such a slow fight. I'm gonna just quickly uh, <laughs> get the Buddha fruit because it just makes uh, it just makes fighting guys like these just so much faster. Whatever, dude, I don't care. I proved to you guys that I can beat him with two freaking fruits, okay? <laughs> whatever oh yeah dude look at just look at his health just melting away now like are you kidding me somehow the boss just disappeared <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we just got something new. Oh, boy. Red spiky coat. Ooh, that actually looks kind of sick. Damn. Okay, cool. Um, Still not what we needed, though. So, gonna have to continue grinding. <laughs> actually, we also need 100 ectoplasm. So, I'm just gonna start killing these guys over here real quick as well. Just quickly grind up to 100 ectoplasm. Just in case that is, like, the final requirement or something. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm being pretty unlucky here. I've killed, like, 10 of these bosses, by the way. All right. Nine more ectoplasm needed, which isn't all that much. And there it is, baby. 100 ectoplasm. Now, there's actually 
say this other guy did also sell something for ectoplasm. I actually don't know what it is. But before when I came up to this guy, he'd pretty much just tell me, bro, you don't got enough ectoplasm, man. So let's see. What does this guy want? Would you like to trade for a ghoul mask? Ooh. <laughs> That's a pretty enticing deal right there. That sounds kind of sick. <laughs> you know what? I don't know if I need to have 100 ectoplasm to actually get the reward from that guy. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just grind up another uh, 50 ectoplasm right now. And I'm going to buy it, okay? Because it sounds freaking dope. <laughs> and there it is. We got 150 now. So yeah, uh, let's get the ghoul mask. <laughs> let's start getting into character. Buy it. Okay. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of sick though. Oh, well, I guess it's time to start server hopping again and see if we can actually get the freaking rare drop. Ah! Yeah! Oh, finally! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God, dude. It's taking me so freaking long, dude. But we finally got it. We got the Hellfire Torch, guys. If you have this and 100 ectoplasm, you can get yourself the ghoul freaking race. Yes! All right. All you need to do is go down here. This man right here in the kitchen. Talk to him. Oh, go shield. I don't know what he just said. Would you like to trade 100 ectoplasm for the ghoul race? And when you trade it. Yeah, baby. There it is. We are now a ghoul. As you can see, there's those little horns there. That's what makes me a ghoul. If you know what I'm saying. Well, I don't know actually what this does. <laughs> I don't know what I just unlocked. <laughs> uh, I can put on my ghoul mask. Now I look like a real ghoul. Yeah. I, I, one second, guys. I'm going to Google what this actually does. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So actually, this is pretty interesting. So we just got a boost in our regeneration and our run speed during the night, which is actually pretty sick. Uh, apparently, uh, it's one of the faster running styles especially during the night. So yeah, apparently pretty good stuff. And then of course, we also have the better regeneration, which is actually pretty amazing if you want to just grind a whole bunch of bosses and stuff like that. Like that'll actually come in very, very handy. All right, guys. Now, apparently the way that you actually get ghoul V2 is the same as you pretty much how you get a V2 of every single other race. So you know what? Let's just make it V2 and V3 right away, baby. Why not? Kind of just feel like it, you know? Might as well make it strong. <laughs> What's the point of having a weak uh, race? If you know what I'm saying? Oh, I gotta say, during the daytime, you are pretty slow. <laughs> but apparently, the speed at night is not the primary purpose of this uh, race, okay? The main thing that you're actually getting this race for is gonna have to be what we get during the V2 and V3 upgrade of this fighting style. Or not fighting style, uh, race, sorry. So yeah, we're gonna talk to this punk right here. The alchemist. Hello. It appears you haven't unlocked your maximum potential yet. Bring me three different flowers spread across the map, and I'll give you something good. All right, so we're gonna have to find three flowers that have been spread around the map. I've made a video about how to get uh, the V2 of uh, Mink. So if you want to know where all the locations and stuff are, then just watch that video. It's pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Oh, I found the red flower. Let's go. Thank you very much, brother. Where's the second flower? I can't find it. Ah, taking me forever, man. Oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is like the most silly spot for the... Oh, wait. It just spawned again. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. I probably should not have grabbed it again. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is like the weirdest spot where it can spawn. So yeah, if, you, if you're ever looking for it and you really can't find it... Make sure to check over there. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot. Uh, the last uh, flower is actually uh, obtained by killing people. So we're going to kill a bunch of people. <laughs> exactly what I love to do. Yours. Oh, already got it. Awesome. Okay. We got everything we need. Let's head back to the guy on the, uh, what is it? The Beanstalk Island. I forgot what it's called. All right. Talk to this guy. All right. I can buy it. And yeah, guys, we just unlocked Ghoul V2. Now, the, the actual, uh, what do you call them? Horns? They don't change any color. But we just unlocked probably the best part of all of the ghoul race, which is lifesteal, guys. Now, anytime you hit someone with your melee attack, you steal 25% of the damage you dealt. So let's say I punch this guy for, I don't know, 100 damage. I get 25 back. Now, obviously, this guy's not really hitting me right now, but that is freaking amazing. Wait, guys, small correction. Actually, uh, you steal 5% from NPCs. You actually steal 25% from humans. So uh, it's really, really good in PvP, especially if you're using like superhuman or, or some other really good fighting style like it's definitely worth it but guys we obviously still have not yet maxed out our abilities there's something else we gotta do we gotta make this puppy version three baby which if we go into this walls okay there, there it is there's the hole in the wall and we go in here and talk to this man right here yeah okay we, we've already we've already uh, read all this stuff 
I'm interested. Okay, talk to me again once you've defeated five players, which is honestly like the most toxic quest ever, but it's part of the thing we gotta do, so I guess we gotta kill some people. Check so yeah, guys, you just have to kill five players. Now, you could uh, just kill a friend of yours five times, or, you know, you can kill whoever you want. It doesn't freaking matter, but uh, I'm gonna kill people. <laughs> I'm just gonna hunt them down. All right, there's a guy up there. He's in the shop. Dang it. All right, sorry, buddy, but you're gonna have to be my first victim. <laughs> All right, that's the first one. Dead. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. You do, you're just a sacrifice, okay? I'm sorry. All right, this guy also has to die. I'm very... I feel very bad for these guys. <laughs> that's three. Oh, this is a man I haven't seen yet. Sorry, my guy, but you have to die. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right. We killed five people. That should be it. All right. We're back. Please give me. Thank you. All right. Wait, what? Talk to me again once you've defeated five players. Wait, I did. Wait, does it need to be five players that are my same level? No. No shot. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You have to die again. I'm sorry. All right. Killed another guy. Come on. When is it going to be enough, man? I just started fighting someone and they just decided to fly into this guy. They were like, nah, I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm I'm pretending I'm AFK. <laughs> I need him to come close to me. Come on, get him, get him, freaking get him! Ah! Really? I got frozen. Come on, okay, come on. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. This is it. There it is. Okay. There it is. <laughs> I feel so bad. Come on. Is it enough? Yes! Okay, there it is, baby. New title unlocked. Let's go. So, guys, what we can now do is we can heighten our senses, which is pretty much the same thing we can do with the actual mink ability, which is pretty nice. It's good to have. It's good to have. But, guys, I don't know why, but it says you can use skills that are still on 40% cooldown. What? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So, when you actually use the heightened senses, apparently I can now use my abilities if they're at 40% cooldown still. That's interesting. I like it. All right. Let's do this. That, that. Heightened senses. And then we should be able to use it again. Yes! Look, we just used it. Look, it was... Oh, my God! That's actually really good. Imagine like, you're, like, in the middle of a battle. And, like, you're like, ah! I'm getting pummeled. Nope. All my cooldowns are literally way reduced. That's actually sick. So, yeah. Apparently, heightened senses, which is uh, what we just unlocked for V3, is really, really good with, like, a very combo-heavy character. So, yeah. Very good stuff. Also, your horns get red, which is kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, with that, we're going to be ending off today's video. Because if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We're well on our way to 300. Hey, so if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Super appreciated. With that, I'll see you later, boys. Peace.